Hi, my name is Matt Albright. I work at the Lincoln Electric Company and today I want to review some basic setup principles when we're working with a PowerWave system. Today I'm working with the PowerFeed 25M suitcase style feeder. I'm also using a PowerWave S350 power supply and we're connected to our PowerWave STT module. As I look at the user interface, we're going to start from top to bottom and explain what these different functions do. The top two dials set our work points, voltage and amperage or wire feed speed and trim. Our middle panel here allows us to select the different processes. For instance, TIG, stick, flux cord, pulse waveforms are some of our advanced waveforms that we'll cover later. And then these bottom sections here allow us to select and save specific memories. Once you have your system set up and ready to weld, there's a couple things you can do to give you the head start and get welding quicker. If you turn this dial all the way back to the beginning of this weld selection process, there's a search function which allows you to find exactly what you're looking for. So to begin, press this button and it'll tell you which processes are available for a search. So we have Synergic STT, non-Synergic STT, we have Pulse gas metal arc welding, we have Synergic CV, non-Synergic gas metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding, TIG modes, and some stick modes available along with some gouging. So I'm going to scroll all the way back and I want to find a pulsed gas metal arc welding mode. So I press this button again. It's going to tell me which materials are available for search. So there's steel, stainless steel, aluminum, metal core, nickel alloys, silicon bronze mode, and copper modes. I'm going to select a steel mode. Now that the mode's selected, we pick the wire diameter we want to use for this process. I'm going to select 035. I'm going to pick the gas blend. This is set up for a argon CO2 mix. There's also other mixes as well for different modes. We're going to select the argon CO2 pulse, and it's going to pull up the mode that's available under those settings that I selected. Once the mode's selected, there's a couple of things we can do to help fine tune the procedure and build quality into the procedure. This button over here is going to let me make adjustments to the, the waveform itself. So we call this phrase Altamark. Altamark is a Lincoln Electric term that defines the ability to adjust the slope and frequency of the waveform to make fine-tuned adjustments to your welding process. By making positive and negative adjustments to the waveform, we allow the slope to change and focus the arc or open the arc up for the different applications that you may be working with. Once I've selected my Altamark setting for this process, I can press this button over here to build quality features into the waveform or to the mode. For instance, pre-flow. It's always a good idea to have gas applied to the part before we strike an arc. So setting up a pre-flow setting is always recommended for any welding application. The next feature in the menu is the run-in wire feed speed. Setting run-in is a function that allows you to set how fast the wire is coming out of the gun prior to the arc being initiated. If I'm using high wire feed speed procedures, having the wire come out slower than the initial procedure is a benefit and will reduce spatter upon starting. The next is start time. This option allows me to set a different procedure and for a different length of time than the procedure I'm going to be normally operating with. So for instance, in an aluminum application, I can set up a starting procedure which will allow me to get better penetration and less cold fusion at the beginning of the weld. Spot timer. For instance, if I'm using a setup where I know I want the weld to be five seconds long, I can drive this into the feature and take that control away from the operator. Crater time is a feature that allows me to set how long I want the arc to continue after I let the trigger go. This allows me to fill the puddle and reduce cracking. Burn back is a feature that determines how long the wire continues to burn after I release the trigger, resulting in a consistent droplet on the end of the wire. The next feature is post flow. It's always a good idea to have gas coverage once the arc is extinguished in order to keep the atmosphere away from the molten puddle after it cools. Now that we have the machine set up the way we want, I can save those settings to any one of my eight user memories. By pressing and holding for three seconds, this will allow me to save that procedure into that memory location. The great thing about the PowerWave platform is completely customizable and upgradable. Lincoln Electric spends a lot of time developing new and unique waveforms that are applicable to many process applications. For more information about this platform, you can go to lincolnelectric.com.